Good morning. I just wanted to introduce you to some of the paintings that have been happening this first half of 2022. These paintings will be in a variety of exhibits, and I hope I will have an opportunity to say hello to you as you enjoy my paintings in person. Um, if you want to contact me, feel free to do so. So let's take a look at some of what has been happening. Let me share a screen and move to. So this is. Um, this was early, so pretty much as the year emerged, I was working on a series of four um, 12 by 9 hardwood panels. And this is that resulting series dealing with um, specific kind of atmospheric effect and particularly focused on um, the graphic clarity and pattern of trees without foliage. So let's take a look at what those look like in person. So you can see in this case, really focused on a repetition of pattern um, to create a kind of rhythm. And then that contrast of saturation and value with the reflection um, acting as a sort of balance that moves your eye back and forth between background and foreground. And another, so in this case, dealing with a slightly subdued or limited palette um, but again, this beautiful sense of that late December solstice kind of light in the morning. And this one, which um, was one of those just wonderful mornings where uh, winter is beginning to settle in and you have that haze rising from the river, sort of obscuring the landscape. And yet um, a rich range within that very limited um, palette. Another super saturated, one of the um, incredible kinds of sunrises and sunsets that were part of this past winter and spring. And here again, you have that contrast of value and you have a contrast here of saturation and um, toned or subdued colors uh, in the foreground. A piece that's just all about that super saturated kind of joyous late um, October, early November, autumn color with just this very, very rich analogous palette, a palette that is related in that most of it is within that yellow orange range. And then just a pop of that nice contrast um, with the lavender blue that is sparking in the water um, as well as in the sky. Uh, a piece from one of the paths, one of um, the various walks I take out in the country. And I was just intrigued by, again, the range of greens. So many of the pieces in this body of work um, deal with a variety of um, natural experiences, the phenomenon of how foliage and light works, whether it be fall, um, summer, and I'm particularly interested in the saturated greens in many of these. This piece really works with a broad range of cool and warm greens that lead you back into that deep space. Um, a large piece, so the first large painting for 2022, and in this case, a very subdued palette. Um, my personal palette tends to be much more of this kind of dark, limited palette where the color is used in a, a more specific and limited way to sort of enhance the overall edge to edge sense of color. So in this case, you just see that dramatic um, range of dark, dark, inky green browns, and then that sort of beautiful diagonal light that comes from right to center. And then again, reflected in moving your eye from center down towards the foreground reflection right. Um, quite a dramatic painting. A dramatic painting, but in this case, the study is smaller. I was lucky enough for many years to work on a beautiful 400 acre campus on the Potomac River. Um, and in this case, it's a view from that beautiful campus up the Potomac towards DC across Carter Rock, Maryland, and working with just a very beautiful, stylized, saturated um, autumn palette. This piece I particularly love. It's actually from 20 and a place in 2021 just this beautiful rich field just verdant with 
the range of colors and patterns. And I was particularly drawn by this beautiful serpentine curve, this rutted path that leads you along tree line and is indicated as it curves around that middle ground tree and um, disappears out of view. I uh, found this to be just an absolutely beautiful subject to work through. And very dramatic. Uh, this piece is now in Baltimore with a um, longtime friend collector, but just this absolutely dramatic, saturated, complementary color handling of the sort of iconic inner harbor domino sugar plant. Um, Large-ish painting has a lot of impact and particularly in the evening when lighted with a good um, art light, it just absolutely pulses and glows. And this is a this is getting into more recent sort of April, May kind of work. And I've really been fascinated with the movement of water as well as the movement or implied movement within um, foliage and forests. So this piece it's really about that beautiful contrast again between the warm and the cool greens and then just this sun dappled creek as that spring or that summer um, rain water has some clear movement as it moves towards the foreground. And that's just a detail because I always have comments, but oh my gosh, these look so realistic and I was uh, enjoy pointing out that they are ultimately really about painterly handling uh, and paint and brushwork so that you're always aware uh, that these are paintings. Um, paint is magic. And that's one of the things I enjoy that at five or six feet, they clarify and seem crystalline. Up close, they have a whole different kind of movement and joy about them as you're really aware of um, all of that process and experience of paint and brush and canvas. Uh, another from the Potomac, just that glorious kind of uh, late dawn, just as it's completely, as the sky is illuminating, but that, that warmth coming through the trees and then this beautiful contrast that I was interested in between the cool background and then all of the warm colors that are in the foreground. Um, one of my, I just happen to really like this piece. It's a, a woods that is within a park um, that I do walk and that I've done a number of studies from. And this particular piece, I was really focused, um, A, it was for a class that I was doing where the, the topic primarily was greens. How do you handle a range of greens? Um, and in this case, that just beautiful sun flooded background and then the light itself, which you're aware of, this brilliant light that is piercing the canopy and it becomes part of that active movement in the water as it sort of comes around that um, nearly uh, circled island of tree which has a sense of impermanence and that you know that likely within a season or two, um, that tree will be down. I particularly like this piece. All the measurements, um, I'm sorry, have been up at the top. This one is a 20 by 16. And then a much smaller study, 11 by 14, from the canal towpath. Once again, just fascinated with this range of greens and this one, particularly all of those cool um, aqua and very cool blue greens in the background that become contrasted against the saturated and also far more value contrasted um, colors as you move towards the middle and then foreground. And a very recent piece, once again, the same class I previously mentioned, where how do you possibly paint all those greens you see? And in this case, a super saturated um, late May, just brilliantly sunny post rain kind of wander in the woods where everything is so lush and so absolutely verdant. 
um, and then that lovely pop to add a little bit of um, contrast of those lilac blues in the uh, wildflowers. And the painting I'm currently working on. So what would be the largest painting so far for the year? And in this case, it's in process. So this is a 40 by 30 inch. And in, I'm sort of midway through the process. And I'm focused on that late transitional summer into um, autumn kind of color palette. And again, this just very, very active water. And the water as a cool um, and very almost calligraphic, lots of loose brushwork um, against the much warmer and um, dappled pattern of the forest as I build it. So at this point, I'm sort of moving now with much more focus into the middle ground and then eventually the foreground. So this is the newest piece. So that's just a little look at um, the piece, some of the pieces that have happened so far in 2022. And I do hope that I'll have an opportunity to uh, say hello to you at an exhibit in the coming months. Thanks for stopping by my studio.